What's up guys? So today we're making a smoothie. One of my favorites, it's a dragon fruit smoothie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just putting the cold stuff, the banana in. We've got our banana, which is frozen, some mango. Ginger just has tons of nutritional properties, especially in this time of year when there's a lot of sickness going on, it's getting cold. After I put the frozen stuff in there, I put in a pretty big glass of water. This is alkaline, filtered alkaline water. I'm gonna add in this cashew yogurt. Not too much, just a little bit. Helps thicken up the smoothie. I'm gonna add in some lemon. I cut off the peel. So I do take out the seeds, although with a Vitamix, this would pulverize those seeds anyways. So boom, I'll pop that in. Then I'm gonna add in the celery as well. But you can see I'm keeping pretty much the whole, the whole thing in there, including the leaves. Chia seeds are some kind of magical superfood. I've read in books that, uh, especially after workouts, they're incredible for your body to help recover. So I'm a believer. This is the dragon fruit. And we're gonna see an incredible color transformation on this smoothie, y'all. And that's it. I really try to minimize the amount of time that I actually blend it, because all the, the blade spinning actually heats it up. And I think anytime you're heating it up extra, you're taking out nutrients, and I wanna keep it as raw as possible. So I really minimize the amount of time I blend it. I just do a couple quick blasts, and we're in. Check the color. Oh yeah. smoothie's pretty thick, so if you want it thinner, you can add a lot more water. This smoothie right here is a winner. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>